Hey everyone, Chris here at U-Joint. Wrapping up this uh, 2004 E350 V10 van that came to us from Colorado for a full dequig. Uh, when I say dequig or dequigification, uh, what I mean is this van was already four-wheel drive and it came in. We removed all of the quigley suspension and replaced it with ours. Um, I just definitely want to be clear that um, when I use these terms or talk about this, I'm not trying to trash another builder or, you know, be a jerk. Um, you know, when people stop asking us for help, then there'll be nothing for me to talk about or Vans Fix. So, um, there's plenty of info on the web. Um, if you look at, you know, quickly death wobble or ride quality and, uh, you know, how these things behave with coil springs, straight axle, it's pretty common knowledge. Some guys are fortunate enough to be able to pay us, uh, to fix it and to replace it with our leaf kit. Some aren't kind of is what it is. Um, but you know, when they built these things, you know, Quigley was building these things for municipalities and power companies, and um, it, performance wasn't the, the 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 motivation. It was cost. So they built them as cheap as they could. That's the way. The, that's what the market dictated. Can't blame them. And uh, is what it is. So fortunately, we took it to another level and added a lot of performance to these vans. And guys have the options to do it. So um, another thing is, I sent a lot of business to Quigley. They sent business to me. It's all good. Um, but we're going to keep dequigifying until they stop coming. So this one got our six inch kit, um, stage two front axle. So this axle in this particular van, um, so from about 2003 to eh, 2007, uh, Quigley did use a 99 to 04 style front axle, which is what we use on our conversion. So, uh, we pulled this one out. If you follow us on Instagram, you saw, I posted a bunch of pictures of the process. Um, we cut off all the Quigley stuff. Um, and then we add a passenger side spring perch and a lower plate that we make in-house and we re basically return it back to its original form as a Dana, as a, uh, Dana 60 leaf spring. Uh, we rebuilt the axle, new inner axle seals, uh, put a Detroit True Track in it, 456 gears, Dynatrack cover. Uh, this thing also had a Dynatrack free spin kit. So that's kind of nice and rare. So we just rebuilt those, repacked the bearings, cleaned everything up and uh, put it back together. Uh, it does have SSBC eight piston calipers and the SSBC slotted rotors. And what else? Yeah, CLR standard track bar stuff, crossover steering, single Fox 2.0s, clean and paint the frame. Tires are a 35, 12, 50, 17 BFG all terrain with some KMC wheels, super nice. Uh, this rig already had the uh, luminous bumpers and the lights and the flares and the side steps on it. So we didn't do anything there. We did add the fuel door. In the rear, uh, we re-geared to 456s and actually did an ARB locker uh, only because it can't get oxes right now. Here's our rear skid system that we added there. Uh, this rig does have our OBA. Uh, the customer has plans for the area we always put the compressor in. I mean, I'm sorry, the tank in. So we just hung the compressor and left that void open. We bolted the compressor up to the uh, weld-in cross member for the rear skid. And had an EVAP canister that we located there also. All right, what else am I missing? Uh, we modified the stock drive shafts, nothing wrong with them. So we uh, actually had to shorten the rear and add a little length to the front. Got our OBA ports on the Illumines bumpers. Also added a front receiver for him. That's it. Just gonna pick it up today, cruise around town, stop by again tomorrow for us to install the tuner, and then it's ready to go back home to Colorado. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments or email me, chris at ujoinoffroad.com. Thanks for watching. Like I said earlier, follow us on Instagram. We appreciate the support. And that's it. Have a great day.